I'm Silky from Just Tutors and in today's session we are going to learn about three and four digit numbers. So in this session we are going to learn about three digit numbers, four digit numbers and how to write numbers in words and figures. Moving ahead let us try these warm-up questions. So you can pause the video and once you are done with the questions you can resume it back to check your answers. You can check the answers once you are done and congratulations for putting in so much of effort to solve these questions. Alright, let us move ahead and let us have a look at three digit number. So what do you understand by a three digit number? As the name suggests, a three digit number is a number which has three digits in it and the digits represent hundreds, tens and ones from left to right. So do you know which number comes after 99? To know that we can add 1 to 99. So when you add 1 to 99 on a place value chart you can see the answer which you get comes in the hundreds column. So you can say that the smallest three digit number is 100. Alright so now we can try these questions. Let us try it together. So what do you, can you tell me which number comes after 669? Have a look at the sequence. So the sequence goes as 667, 668, 669. So the next number must be 670, then 671, and then 672. This is how your sequence is completed. Moving on to the next question, we can see that the sequence is moving in a backward direction. So we have three places before 569. So this must be 568. One number before we can take away, we can subtract one number. So 567 subtracting one more number which is 566. So this is how we can solve these questions. Let us move ahead and let us learn what is a four digit number. So can you give me the biggest three digit number? It is 999. So what number comes after 999? The same as we did before, let us add 1 to 999. So what answer do you get? The answer is 1000 and as you can see it has gone to the one column more than hundreds column and that do you know what call, what what was what is the name of that column it is called thousands and it is represented as it is represented as th so in short form we can write it as th so whenever we are talking about thousands we, that means we are talking about numbers it, that has at least four digits in it now let us give it a try to this question it is an abacus and by looking at the abacus try to find out the number which it, which it is trying to depict here so as you can see in the thousands column it has got five beads so we will write five at the thousands column in the hundreds column it shows three beads so three at the hundreds column and then it has two beads at the tenths column and it has no beads in the units column so in the units column we'll put a zero so the answer for this question is 5320 let us move on to the next page and let us learn how to write numbers in words and figures. So when we write numbers using digits it is said to be written in figures. For example we can take any number like 99 or 101. All these numbers are written in figures. But when we write a number using letters it is said to be written in words. So can you try out quickly how do we write 1000 in words? As you can see here, we can write 1000 as O-N-E and T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D, which is written in words. 
Now let us move ahead and try out a few questions on the same topic. You can pause the video and you can resume back to get the answer. You can check your answers now and you can pat your back if you have got all of them correct. So let us move ahead and now we are here at the practice page. You can again pause the video and solve these questions and once you are done resume it back to get the answers. So as you have done all the questions, let us match the answers. I hope you have got all of them correct. And if not, you can congratulate yourself for putting in so much of effort. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.